Hey everyone, it's Mikey Abrams with Texas Pride Realty Group and I am out here in Dallas right off of Northwest Highway at the Reserve of Bluffview. We just found a cool pocket neighborhood in the west side of Dallas that have these brand new building townhomes. There's only about, it's about 75% full, but these townhomes are about five to six hundred thousand dollar range and boy are they bougie and beautiful. Look! So here at the Reserve at Bluffview for the townhomes, it comes specifically for just the residents of these townhomes. This really, really beautiful green area with like, it looks like a cauldron, little sitting area, fire pit. Some of the residents here can have immediate access from their backyard to get to this gorgeous, gorgeous space. There's some even run space down that way for the puppies sitting underneath in the shade, chilling, watching your dog do their thing while you have to clean up their poo poo. And it's tucked away and it's literally like five minutes away from downtown. Who knew this existed? So, um, voila, I'm in love. And if you're in love too, let's go see it. Come on. We're over here showing some new townhomes. It's about 2,200 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath. And they have some really interesting design choices that give this property an original flavor. Look what the designer did. Can you imagine having to cut all this board? It's like a huge xylophone that you play in, right? They painted the back wall black and then have added this really gorgeous kind of shabby chic-esque painted white boards to go over it. That's super cool, right? They've got these gorgeous tall windows emitting all this natural light and this natural wood floor throughout that gives it a great modern taste. Come through this one. Downstairs, as soon as you come in, you have your downstairs half powder room with pedestal sink, some shiplap wood. And look at all the space. I mean, you can really spread out here. And this is just the downstairs bathroom, right? Look at these light fixtures. It's like yin and yang but it's very industrial and it also has this modern flair to it at the same time with a little bit of the design. Very Shea Cool. We'll get to the upstairs in a minute, but look, I want you to open up this way. Wave hi, Juanita. <laughs> Juanita's well, representative here has been helping us out. I love this open concept floor plan. This is fantastic for entertaining. Let's go through everything. This area comes standard. Look at all this cabinetry. Oh, look, I got these glasses. This makes me feel somewhat bougie and rich, so that's good. So quartz countertops here with an additional bar sink, because of course, you know, we need our cocktail area. Loving all the storage units here. Stainless steel appliances. Additional extended quartz countertops with a huge basin sink. Five burner gas cooktop. Unless you're a big bird, I don't know how the hell you're gonna be storing stuff up here. But you know, that's why you're gonna have to just marry tall or buy yourself a ladder. Le pantry, that's French for the pantry. What do they have in here? They have Prosecco, they have Chardonnay, they have Monegro Modelo, and then they got some, you know, whatever the hell this crappy ass local thing is here. But you know, we gotta have this because it's a fancy ass place. In addition to that, we have some awesome storage. This is your Harry Potter closet. Let's see how many Harry Potters can you can, look at this. This is like a baker's dozen of Harry Potters that you can put in here. There's the light. So you could fit the whole school of Hogwarts into this under, this storage underneath the stairs. So they utilize the space quite nicely, not wasting any of it. And of course, who doesn't like a good mud area to kick your shoes off, hang up your purse, put your wig off, whatever you need to do, and dual garage. So as you're walking in, I'm carrying in my groceries. Look here, it's dropped off, boom. I like how they have a little space here for your designated dining area. Here's another great thing that you've got. So each one has its own little private patio area and you have the option to put some grass. So it's very low maintenance. The HOA here is only $275 a month and they even care for the outdoor areas that you got. Come on through. Let's go upstairs and see what they have to offer. Come on, squeeze your glutes as you go. 
Upstairs, you have kind of this cool lifestyle space that you can use as an additional television room or sitting area. It's really cool how they've used this kind of desk area here that you potentially can just turn this into a side office so you don't have to use up an entire room. But I do want you to look up. They've shiplapped the ceiling. Office. Don't you love how they designed this office? Very modern, very chic. They've given some of the painted wood down there for the chair rail, but this is something that I find very interesting. They've created this windowsill, and it's an extended windowsill to put plants or decorations or whatnot, but the outside windows come with this really kind of cool metal, <laughs> geometric, swervy swerve coverings. Um, it's just there for decorations. I don't know if it serves a purpose. I am curious if it does or not. Well, let's check out some of the other rooms. Secondary room, number two. Great large windows. I love that headboard. But they've continued, continued the flooring and matching hardware and ceiling fans. Nice deep closet doors all the way up. They've chevroned this tile down here, which I think is very nifty. They've got the uh, handles very cohesive with the rest of the home. Quartz countertop, extended countertop with dual sinks and modern light fixtures, even framing the entire mirror. And look, it's a pocket door. Surprise, come on. They've done some great subway tile work all the way up to the ceiling, thank God, because that's a pet peeve of mine. I would hang something here personally. But they've chevroned the tile into the toilet room and then given some shelving here for linens. You want to see the primary bedroom? Now look at this. Boom. The size of this, look at that. This is giving like the Phantom of the Opera run for his money on this. <laughs> very modern, very industrial-esque, but very cool. They ship back the ceiling as well. And that beam is miraculous because it matches the flooring. Easy to fit a king size bed in here. Look at all this window and natural light just pouring. And a continuation of these really cool modern contemporary window metal coverings. Now, my favorite room is the bathroom. Come on. Ah! You have a skylight emitting all the natural light coming into this room. The quartz countertop is extended out with dual sinks. And yes, they have space to put your little poof so you can sit and do your makeup. Look at the shower. Tile all the way up. You've got shower here. Oh my God, look. Shower here, place to sit down and shave your legs and look out the window. So look, I literally could be shaving my legs and like checking in on my neighbors and stuff. How fun is that? That's, that's a consolidating your efforts, right? And in here is your great walk-in closet. Ah! And did you see the more storage that they have right here for towels and cabinets and you put your drawer here for all your underwear and your underroofs. I mean, they've really thought this out. And um, if you're interested in taking a tour, you're about 75% full. I know there's also almost an acre of park that is just private for all these residents here. So I cannot wait to tour that too when all the construction is gone and we can take a look at it. So if you're interested in this, these range within the 500, 600,000, but right in the heart of Dallas, just off of Northwest Highway and Midway. Thanks for tuning in everyone. It's been Mikey Abrams with Texas Pride Realty. If you'd like more information, give me a call, 817-714-5959. Bye. Take pride in your real estate experience.